Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today is an uh, impromptu video and I do have some videos coming but I just kind of wanted to just chat to you guys and I am guess what I'm actually doing is asking for some advice and I really, I love interacting with you so I'm asking for some advice from you and I, I'm sorry but it's going to be so rambly and I like to think that usually I'm quite good at explaining myself but I'm not going to be very articulate at all because I'm going to try and like say everything that I'm feeling and yeah um it's total first world problems <laughs> so it's like nothing serious at all in my opinion um but at the same time it is something that I feel is kind of affecting me so we're gonna start from the beginning because obviously this title is about YouTube so I'm gonna start from the very beginning um so I've been blogging since 2011 I actually had a written blog in 2011 but that was the same year that I started uni so I stopped my blog and uh focused on my uni studies and just threw myself into the whole uni experience and then um when I finished uni is when I then came back to YouTube or in the period when I had finished some I think it was my dissertation and I was still waiting to do my final assessment I was like let me just start blogging again you know I've got all this free time I don't really know what I'm going to do with my life so let me just start YouTube again um so that was four and a half years ago and I'm now yeah <laughs> this is as far as I've got so at the time that I started YouTube obviously it was a total hobby hence why if anyone does follow me on any of my other social media this is the biggest platform I have basically YouTube is where I have my my biggest following I don't have any following on Twitter Facebook and have a small following on Instagram and that's because I kept everything a secret like my snapchat everything was a secret because I was keeping my blog a secret really I, I was just doing it for my own fun and enjoyment but I only told my uni friends about it because I love my uni friends and uh, I study drama so I feel like we we all got to know each other way more in depth than I think any other subject gets to know people so I trusted them with that but I didn't tell anyone else about it at all and as time has gone on obviously I earn like a pocket money from this and I'm going to use the word pocket money because it, it, that's all it is I don't earn like anything from this it's a pittance but I enjoy it so you know I remember when I started and I don't know if YouTube does it anymore but like when you hit 1000 subscribers they send you a message saying like you have enough subscribers to fill a concert hall and all of that kind of stuff it's so cool and you know I never take any of that for granted um but yeah I as time has gone on I'm kind of like I wanted to see where I could go with this and see if there was a career out of it because I am a creative person that's the only places I've ever excelled at life is you know media studies creative writing drama and I want to be an actress that's what I trained to do I did that at university I chose not to audition for drama school um, I went to university instead and then after uni I did um, a term at drama school and I met with agents and stuff and I was doing the auditioning and not, very little came of it, very little came of it and being completely honest with you I have a really, I have really shit self esteem like I'm fucking shit to be honest so <laughs> despite wanting to be an actress and knowing full well like you're gonna get rejections obviously um those no's and those knocks like I really take those things to heart I do like any criticism I get I frigging take it all on um and I've never stopped loving acting I haven't ever but I have slowed down a bit because as you all know I harp on about it all the frigging time um, my parents don't live in this country so my next thing is that I'm not in a position where I can just stay at home I had my parent I was staying in my parents house when I was first blogging you know while I was staying in my uni flat and then I moved back home to my parents house but 
they've sold that now, fair enough, they can't just keep me there, they had rented out all the other rooms and I was literally just in my bedroom so it didn't even feel like my home anymore. Fuck. <laughs> I didn't want to get upset but yeah, it didn't fucking even feel like my home anymore so I don't blame them for selling it and everything but it meant that I like had to it wasn't like most people go home to their parents or other people go straight into a career and um, start renting and stuff that didn't quite happen for me because I really wanted to act so I worked in retail for three years <laughs> which if anyone's worked in retail it's fucking nuts like sorry to swear a lot but that's actually more me I swear all the time and um, yeah so I worked in retail um, and then I ended up renting obviously when my parents sold the house and I then went to work in theatre but not in, not in a retail position like in as a trainee kind of intern um, because I was really interested in reading and as I said creative writing so I was kind of exploring that avenue of things as well so I interned at a few theatres and then I had settled in a contracted position at a theatre and I still being completely honest with you I was quite bored there really bored there and to make matters worse I guess let me just cut to the chase I guess I see YouTube as a platform, like, that's what I see it as, um, as, as many people do, I think, you know, there's so many YouTubers now that they aren't just YouTube, YouTubers, they have businesses, they have other things that they're doing, and so I had this belief that I could do YouTube and I would springboard and be able to do other things because I love YouTube and I love blogging, I love writing and talking and interacting and creating. I love all of that. And as I keep saying like on my blog and stuff is, I used to think in life you had to just be one thing. Like, you know, if someone says, I'm gonna be a doctor, like that's it, that's their one career. I thought that you had to do that, but I no longer believe you have to. I feel like you can do multiple things. And so I had in my head that maybe I would be a reader for a theatre and I would be an actor and I would be a writer and I would be a blogger um, but it, it's very hard and it was very hard because at the time I had 15,000 subscribers amazing what an amazing achievement but I was filming like three videos a week and only getting barely breaking 1,000 views a month so I didn't know I didn't know what I was doing wrong like I still don't know what I'm doing wrong is what I'm saying because I have 25,000 subscribers and it's still much of the same case I have some videos perform really well and I try I'm trying to look at the pattern to see what it is people want to see and of course do let me know what you want to see but a lot of my videos aren't I even chose to split my channel into two so I'd have my lifestyle channel because that's how I started blogging and started on YouTube and I would have this channel which is my natural hair channel um, because that's something I'm obviously interested in, have always been, it's part of my culture so um, you know that's kind of uh, built up and because that built up I thought oh that's what people are interested in here so I decided to split the two channels. I hope I'm making sense. So. I was at this place, at the theatre, working, I was contracted for a year, finished my year and I wasn't happy there, I was, I'll be honest with you, I wasn't that happy there and I, when I finished I was like, I'm gonna kind of take a bit of a risk I guess and focus more on my blogging and I had done, up until obviously this point that you'll see most recently, I've kind of come, fallen off the radar again and I've moved house, I've moved in with Alex, which is great, and I've actually started started a new job. I started a new job at the same time that I was moving. And this new job is so great because I have so much time to put out content and my plan 
is slash was, because I'm getting to the point, um, to put out two videos a week here, two videos a week on my other channel and one blog post. I have enough time to do that with this position. Um, and it's local, like it's closer to me and the people are great and I've really just, I've, for the first time I've just jumped into a position and I feel really comfortable whereas everything else, I hated it. I remember my friend saying to me, my friend from retail saying to me, you got to always stick out the first week of work because the first week of work is like crap. Um, but this job wasn't like that at all. Like I loved it instantly and I've only been there a couple months. So here's where it gets to it. Because now I have just been offered a, another job from this theatre that I was working in but now in a better position and it will be full time and it will pay way more because this job that I'm in, although I love it and everything, I'm scraping by and as I said I don't earn anything from YouTube. You know, I'm trying to reach out to brands and build brand relationships and stuff, but it's not bloody easy. So I've got now this new job offer, um, which is going to be even more intense. It's like at least 40 hours a week. I will be waking up early, coming home late. Because it's a theatre, I will be seeing a lot of shows, so I won't be getting home till like 10 o'clock at night in a lot of cases. And... <sighs> Because of that, my predicament is basically that I feel like if I take this position, I'm saying like I'm giving up on everything I've wanted to do with my life. And yes, I know that I can do this position, I guess, for one to two years and then come back to YouTube, but I kind of feel like it won't be like that. I feel like the longer you're out of something, the more likely you are to just lose it. And if I can only put up one video every couple of months, <sighs> I guess I'm saying like, I really wanted to see where I could go with YouTube. I really did. I really wanted to see if I could make a career out of this. And maybe not everyone is successful on YouTube and maybe that's just it for me, it's not. And maybe I'm, not going to ever be an actress. Maybe that's just not in my path, I don't know. If I take this job, it's more money. It allows me and Alex to like, save up for somewhere to live. Like, rather than paying rent and paying somebody else's mortgage, we'd be able to save up for ourselves. I've never felt so much, like I'm 25, I just feel like I'm at this point, and I get it, I'm young and everything, but I feel like I'm at a point where I'm being told now like I have to grow up and I just don't know what the right thing is to do. I either stay where I am and try and make YouTube work and hope that somehow it just careers off and I go back to trying to audition and again hope that careers off. I'm not trying to be like on TV or anything, I actually more prefer the stage, that's what I studied to do. Um, and I try and explore all the other avenues which are effing hard or I take this job which will then settle me into a proper career because it is an actual career ladder type of thing and also going back to the whole if I do it for a year, two years by that point I'm worried that I'll be stuck I'm worried that by that point I'll then move up to an even more senior position so it'll be like that will be my job for or my career for life for the next 40 years until I retire. So yeah, I just feel a bit like I'm giving up and I don't know whether it's the right thing to do. I feel like I either reside the fact that it's gonna be just something that I do on the side or I really try and make something of it and I stay at the job that I'm at. But then if this fails, I've lost that opportunity and it's going to be 10 times harder for me to get back into theatre because when I stopped working at the theatre the first time and I was applying to so many other theatres, I was not getting anywhere. So this opportunity is highly unlikely to come around again. So 
I either take the job, have the money, have the comfort, go about my life for the next four years, or I try and reach my dreams with the potential of failing and then have to go into some, any old job to, you know, pay a mortgage, pay for kids and all that kind of stuff. I'm sure other people have been in this position before where it's like, what do I do with my life? There's a couple of things as well that have really kind of triggered me is that like, have you seen that uh, thing that's going around? It's like a plaque. I think it was on Twitter, but it might be on Instagram as well, but it's like a plaque and it talks about this lady who was a slave and she moved around to all these different places and that her great granddaughter went on to be the first black lady of the United States. It was Mo Michelle Obama's ancestor. And then the tagline says, um, be your ancestor's wildest dreams. So if I was to think, cause everyone knows, right? I love like, who do you think you are stuff? So if I was to imagine that, if I was to find out like one of my ancestors dreams would have been, I don't know, to be on the stage or to have a platform like this and be able to talk to loads of people and they couldn't do it. I'd feel shit that I didn't at least try. If I haven't made sense on anything, just leave a comment down below and I'll answer as best as I can because the story kind of went like this. But I was trying to like, trying to give you a backstory because it makes sense to where I am now and why I'm finding it difficult. But of course, as I say, it's not the worst position to be in. It's just shitty on the inside. Yeah. I do have videos coming though. I've filmed them already. I just need to edit them. I just wanted to get this one out first. So let me know what you think. What would you do? Bye.